Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Blood and gold. Italy in Azzurri blue. Some building out of the back. Here's Candreva looking for Pella. And turned behind and perilously close to his own upright by Sergio Ramos. But I think the one player for the Italians that can open the game up with his pace is Candreva in and behind. And obviously, Pella is a traditional number nine that needs service from out wide. Six minutes in, we've already seen Kandreva have a big impact on this game. Motta. Kandreva tries his luck. And provides a wake-up call for David De Gea. And it's been a good opening 15 minutes from the Italians. They've been very good at getting into transition and getting the ball forward, bypassing the midfield line, and getting Kandreva and Pella and Giacarini going forward. Kondreva, 16 minutes in, has been the most dangerous player for the Italians. Florenzi of Roma will take this. Kondreva. The tournament, Italy unbeaten in their last 50 qualification matches. Well, it's not often that Del Bosque misses his step. Obstruction, indirect free kick. More so, I, I, I'm not sure Dabowski played the tempo of the game. I think Dabowski's going to go into halftime saying the first 30 minutes we need Thiago on the ball more. Rescued by Pella, or was it? Just drifted out of play before the Southampton man got to it. Another late developer, we were talking about Aberith, mm -hmm. breaking through at 35. Pella was 30 when he made his international debut. But how often have we seen just in history as goal scorers? It's all about timing. Adarith. Morata. And Adarith. Nearly. Buffon got to him. The owner Robert Abramovich that his team should entertain. Pella. And that's comfortable for De Gea. So a slice effort on goal. Well, Pella may not be the most prolific goal scorer up front, John. He is extremely dangerous with just his ability to hold it off, lay it off, and play off of him as a target. 40 minutes that I've seen today, and quite frankly, his last three or four weeks with Southampton is his hold-up play. Here is Pella. And for any striker in the world, no matter where... Dennis Aitekin, the German referee, gets this second period underway. And we heard Bernucci follows him. Is Bernucci the replacement to John Terry at Chelsea? I don't think it's as far-fetched as some people think. Giacarini. Insignia! That's more like it. And we've seen Spain throughout the last two or three years be vulnerable. The corner and the header by Bonucci, who rose well, but couldn't get the control on his effort that he needed. But the Italians, John, in the early parts of this second half have found their space on the counter. They've also been extremely dangerous traditionally on set pieces. This being the first one they've shown any kind of danger tonight, but I go back to that counter attack. Giacarini. How good is that? Insignia. They're looking more the part now. Florenzi! They're playing getting forward, and how often have you seen in friendlies? You make two or three substitutions and the tempo dies down. It's been the exact opposite for the Italians. Since Insigne's come into the game, David De Gea's had to come up with two or three big saves. Another fell apart on that salutary day in Salvador. 
the start of the World Cup against the Dutch. Still in recovery mode. Benedeschi. Ciaccarini. Lovely ball in and a super goal. Lorenzo Insignia tops off the best move of the match. And Italy have the lead against their arch and age-old rivals. The three substitutes for the Italians and Conte have been very impactful in this game, particularly going forward. Bernardeschi's first cap does a wonderful job of setting up Gia Giaccarini so that he can hit this first time. And Insigne's been a bright spot coming off the bench. Some have questioned whether or not Insigne will have a role at European Championships 10 weeks from now. But his play for Napoli and his play tonight, Conte better call his number. Italians up 1-0. Friendly or no friendly, the challenge has been laid down to the reigning European champions. They dismantled Italy in the final four years ago. Here's Fabregas. And it is Adarif who follows it in. And the 35-year-old accepts the congratulations of his teammates at scoring his first international goal. The lead for Italy lasted two minutes. And not often do you see the Italian struggle on set-piece. Buffon makes the save, but then it's tracking the runners. And Adarith over the last two seasons in La Liga, in all competitions, at the age of 35, 55 plus goals this is why he's been given the opportunity for his second cap first one since 2010 Buffon should have done better but out of wreath in limited opportunities tonight senior a player of extravagant talent but of inconsistency too in senior wide of a, a goal that was guarded fairly calmly by David De Gea Insigne finds. He's causing problems right now for the two defensive midfielders of Spain. Zaza. Another chance. Lovely effort. Super save. It's that same player causing all the problems. The touch of Insigne. The glance up. And then David De Gea. And if not for David De Gea, John, this scoreline. Impish player. As Piliqueta. And that's Barata. Well, Adarif scores his goal, and rightfully so for the hard work following up the play. How much more comfortable has Spain looked over the last 10 to 11 minutes with David Silva up front? There's no number nine. Yeah. And John, when you watch this team, has impressed in the 20 to 25 minutes he's been on the field today. Silva. And it was Morata hurling himself at it. I can promise you one thing, Conte is going to have a huge... PK across to cover. And that concludes the entertainment from the Stadio Friuli in Udine. It ends all square at one goal apiece in senior off the bench. And onto the score sheet for Italy midway through the second period. Two minutes later, Morata in an offside position in the build-up went undetected and Adari turned in the equaliser so Italy won Spain won and we'll wrap things up reflecting on this game